Warning, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, this is Brandon Vincent. I'll be giving the weekly uh, briefing this week. Uh, just uh, as a heads up, if you have any questions, uh, remember to type them out and uh, I can get to them uh, at the end of the briefing. So, February 29th through March 7th. Well, the day that happens once every four years, that's today. Um, this week's weather, um, it's going to start off pretty nice. Uh, you know, at the beginning of the week, today and tomorrow, it, it, what you see is what you get. It's going to be pleasant, sunny, highs near 70 degrees. So couldn't really ask for much better weather-wise uh, today and tomorrow. Um, let's see here with my PowerPoint. And by midweek, we'll start to see some changes, though. Um, and we have an upper-level pattern where there's this deep upper low over Canada that's kind of going to be stationary in vicinity of Hudson Bay. And th what that does is it's going to kind of send one upper-level disturbance after another, um, you know, through through the Tennessee Valley uh, and the Mid-Atlantic and Carolinas throughout the week. The first and an associated cold front will come through Tuesday night. So after the pleasant day on Tuesday, we'll see showers and um, uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Then temperatures will begin to fall behind the cold front. It's, it's not going to be terribly cold, but it will be noticeably cooler. So Wednesday and Thursday, in the wake of the first disturbance and cold front, um, it'll be highs in the 50s. Um, by Thursday night, uh, the next in the series of upper-level disturbances is expected to, to come through. And, and, and this one, the, the models are still having a difficult time trying to handle the, the evolution of it, um, as it, as it as it crosses over our area and the southeast coast. Um, it looks like we'll have a decent chance for, for precipitation, you know, rain. Um, on um, Thursday night, uh, early Friday morning, but there's still some uncertainty when it comes to when exactly it will hit. Like, for example, the European model shows it occurring a little bit later and during the day Friday, and also colder, which means that uh, the that model would, would suggest maybe uh, precipitation could end as 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 is a mix or a snow, but it even if it did, it, it would it would it would be rather insignificant uh, given the progressive nature of the system. So after that, we expect another cool down in the wake of that system. But again, nothing uh, terrific. Uh, highs in the 50s. So uh, so to uh, kind of uh, wrap things up. Um, very pleasant early in the week, uh, highs near 70, Monday and Tuesday, chance of rain, good chance of rain, Tuesday night with a cold front, temperatures cooling down in the wake of the front, Wednesday and Thursday, another shot at precipitation with another upper level wave and cold front Thursday night, and then cooler conditions prevailing again through, uh, through the weekend, um, there, while there will be a severe weather potential upstream of, uh, of the approaching cold front over the Tennessee Valley um, tomorrow, we do not expect uh, anything in the way of severe weather in our area. So uh, no concerns with that. In fact, no, no real hazardous concerns at all through, through, the, um, through the upcoming week aside from an outside chance of precipitation, uh, perhaps ending as something other than rain, maybe on Friday. Uh, but since this is a early March, climatologically speaking, it becomes much more difficult to, uh, to get anything other than rain uh, once you pass uh, the threshold of uh, February into March. Uh, though, as we saw last year, it, it can happen still. Um, 
real quick, they, they you know, they eight to 14 day outlook, uh, is for, um, uh, uh, as you can see up there, a temperature outlook, probability of above normal temperatures in the eight to 14 day and, uh, precipitation is kind of neutral about normal. Um, and, uh, that's it. If, unless there's any questions, I'll, uh, conclude the briefing. I think that's it. So, uh, everyone have a excellent February 29th. Uh, next one will be for four years. All right. Brandon Vincent signing off.